We're here with first year Baker University head wrestling coach Co Cody Garcia. Uh, coach, you guys are anticipating um, the start of NAI Wrestling National Championships in Topeka this weekend. Um, you know, let's break down those five wrestlers for us. Um, let's start with, with Tyler Dickman. Um, this is his first trip to Nationals. What's, what are the expectations for him? You know, it is. He, uh, he had a great regional tournament. He's been coming along, um, you know, since the beginning of the year. He was one of the ones uh, from even when we were doing some team stuff at the beginning of the year say, hey, you know, I, I'm here for a reason. Um, I want to have a purpose. I want to be able to leave a legacy as I, I leave this place. I don't want to just go through the motions. And, and uh, he's shown it. You know, the work he's put in this year is, have, you know, he's put him in a position to, you know, feel very confident in his ability to step on the mat and compete with anybody. Um, and he showed it. You know, you go to that regional tournament, uh, gets the three seed, uh, well-deserved spot, you know, to, to in a tough region. Uh, and then takes out the number four ranked kid in the nation uh, there in the semis. Just really put it, I mean, got on top and went to work, uh, pinned him, and, and that set him up for a matchup in the finals against the number one ranked kid in the nation. Uh, and even in that match, you know, we competed. We lost a couple of positions that I think we learned from. Um, so, you know, you, we know we're right there. Um, that's a bracket that's, that there's a lot of depth in it, there's a lot of talent in there, but we're part of that talent. You know, we, uh, we're a tough draw, and that's what I keep telling these guys. Even the guys that aren't an, an eight seed, um, you know, on up, they're going to be all right. Okay, you, you just own that that seed, that quarter, and, and run with it. And he's in that position. Obviously, it's tough. You know, it's it's not supposed to be easy. And I think he's excited about that because he has something to prove. How about Connor Middleton? You know, his his senior season, uh, he gets a chance to compete at the national level also for the first time in his final year. Um, how about Connor in in his bracket coming up? You know, he's another one. I mean, I think he's shown uh, and he's proven to himself that he can compete with him. I think right now, you know, I, even I was watching D2 um, regionals this weekend, number one, number eight ranked kid in, in D2s right now, you know, he's 2-0 and oh against him. Um, again, he's another one just like Tyler, he just kind of missed the, the seed. Um, that they only seed the top eight, so he just fell outside of that. Uh, but he's shown, again, that he can kind of go with any of those guys in there. Uh, it's just a matter of him wrestling seven minutes, doing the things that he needs to do to create scoring opportunities. And if he does that, he's going to put himself in a position to, to get his hand raised. How about Kyler Atwood? Um, you know, he'll also be competing. This will be his first time at the national uh, championship level. Let's talk about him and, and you know, what are your thoughts on his wrestling so far? Yeah, he's just done a great job of, of being consistent. You know, continue to work each week. Um, each day he gets on the mat. He has a purpose to what he's doing. Um, and it's showing up. I think he has high expectations for himself and he should. I think he, he has a lot of success um, because of that and I think he has a lot of potential because of the resources and the things that he's been able to utilize um, in this room. You know, we got some great partners that have pushed him to this point. Um, but again, he, he wants to win a national title. I mean, that's his goal. Um, and I think, you know, a couple of years back we thought, okay, well that's something to shoot for. That's something to shoot for. Now all of a sudden it's something obtainable and I think it's something that he just has to be consistent from, from match to match and position. He's going to outwork people. Uh, we just got to win position. We got to make sure that we're wrestling our match uh, and, and just being gritty. You know, and that's in that 97-pound weight class. There's a lot of depth there. Um, it's and there's going to be a lot of close matches. And close matches are kind of won by heart a lot of times. And I know he's got a big heart, so he's going to go out there and push space. You know, if he does that, he's going to put himself in a good position. You know, two two wrestlers that um, have been in this position before. Uh, will it will. We'll talk about them with Victor Hughes and Colby Crank. You know, Colby's been right there, right at the cusp of a national championship. Um, let's let's talk about Victor and, 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 you know, what do you hope to see from him this weekend? I just want to see Vintage Vic. You know, we say that a lot. Um, I'm just going out there and competing. I think it, the, the thing he does so well is make people wrestle in every position. He's very well trained, very well conditioned, um, and he just needs to step out of line and show it. Uh, and that's that just again seven minutes making it a war for seven minutes and knowing that hey if things get tough I'm going to be the toughest person on the mat. Um, he's done a good job with that. He's gotten better. You know that's the, the probably the scariest thing about how how much success he had last year is how much better he is now because I think he's you know from his feet figured out some attacks that he knows he's comfortable with um, and his defense is always always uh, you know stellar. I mean it's, he's a hard guy to score on and if you're a hard person to score on and you know you can ride you know you can get away. Um, you're going to be in matches. You know, I think it's a bracket that he feels comfortable wrestling with anybody, and I think he should. You know, he's he's been uh, beaten a handful of the guys that are seeded. Unfortunately, kind of missed out on a seed. Um, again, you know, he can be ranked in the top ten and, and not get a seed, and that's just part of it. But you know, again, going back like I said before, uh, he's a tough he's a tough draw. If you pick, uh, you know, Vic there on that front side right away, you're starting. There's guys wondering right now, like. 
egg. You know, that's a, that's a tough one to start with, start your day with. And he's going to bring it. So I'm excited. He's, as long as he keeps bringing it, he's going to be right back where he was last year and keep climbing that podium. And finally, Colby, Colby Crank, you know, he's been a multiple All-American. He, he's been at this level before. Um, you know, what are, what are his, uh, you know, what's he and your mindset going into to the weekend? I think the one thing I, you know, we really talked with him um, is, you know, just, just enjoying the moment. Um, I think that's something, you know, the journey and, and the things that wrestling gives to you, you know, sometimes you get to the end here and, and you start to worry about, like, moments defining you. I think it's just a culmination, you know, and it's a culmination of the work and how great he is at this sport. He's put a lot of work in it. And, and he's calm, I mean, you know, I'm confident in him. He's confident in his abilities. I know if he's wrestling his match, he's going to be tough to beat. Um, he's another one that's a tough draw, you know. He got the four seed, so he's on the top side there. Um, you know, I think it's still his tournament to win. You know, he's just got to go out there and wrestle. If he does what he's capable of doing, um, I think, you know, he'll, he'll eliminate a lot of those questions. Well, Coach, uh, you know, thank you very much for your time. We, we look forward to seeing you and your five wrestlers this Friday and Saturday at the Expo Center.